Trimming in Carveco is much like other CAD software. Select the line that you would like to cut and it will trim wherever another line intersects. In this example, if I zoom in, you can see that there is an area here that is not correct. It needs trimming or cutting. The trim tool is located on the design toolbar at the top of the screen. This will change the cursor to a pair of scissors and when they are hovered over a line they will become open, basically telling you that you can cut it. The first thing to show you is when it doesn't work and why that is. Here you can see that I've just trimmed this line and deleted most of it. If I undo to go back and zoom in to the line that I want to trim with the more vertical line, you can see that the vertical line doesn't actually go through or even touch the horizontal line. This is the reason why it's not trimming off here. I'm just going to edit this to make it go past the horizontal line. Now if I select the line that I want to remove, it will trim to the correct position. If you notice, I also turned on auto join, which meant that the whole part becomes joined when it is trimmed, saving you from having to do the process later. The offset icon is located on the design toolbar to the right of the trim tool. To use the offset, select the vector that you would like to offset and enter a distance for the offset. You can then choose the offset direction, in this case inward. How the corners look can also be specified. To create the offset, select offset at the bottom of the dialog. In this instance, it has created a 10mm offset of the outside rectangle. Offsetting can also be done by opening the offset tool and hovering over the vector that you would like to offset. This will then change the cursor to a solid black cursor which you can then left click and drag to offset, creating more of an artistic offset rather than a specific sized one. To close the offset tool, either select the cross at the top right of the dialog or press escape on the keyboard. To mirror an object, select the object to mirror and then select the mirror tool which is located on the vector editing toolbar. Within the dialog, there are various mirroring options, but for this example, because the object is in the center of the model, I'm going to use the across model and make sure to create a copy. To mirror this to the bottom right hand corner by moving, turn off the copy option and select over model.